Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cincinnati Bengals franchise mode here on the channel. Today, the 8-7 Cincinnati Bengals play host to the 8-7 New York Giants with Teddy Bridgewater at quarterback. As for the Bengals, they do not need to win this game in order to make the playoffs. They have already won the AFC North last week, but they can advance to the three seed with an LA Chargers loss. In addition to that LA Chargers loss, they also need some things to go their way with the strength of schedule. Anyway, the two wildcard teams in the AFC will be the New York Jets and the New England Patriots. I believe the Jets have already clinched the five seed and the Patriots have already clinched the six seed. So do we really want to be the three seed? Not entirely. I think I'll take my chances playing Sam Darnold over Tom Brady every single day. The starters in Cincinnati will play just the first half today as the backups will come in for the second half just because I do have injuries on here and I don't want to risk any injuries for the playoffs as our seeding doesn't really matter too much because, again, I don't want to play the Patriots. I really want to play the Jets next round. I think that'd be such an easier out. But there is Teddy Bridgewater, the quarterback for the New York Giants. They are technically still in the playoff hunt. They need a lot of things to go their way to get the sixth seed in the NFC. Golden Tate coming off a big game last week with 166 yards and three touchdowns and a 94 long pass. As for the entire AFC, the Buffalo Bills have already clinched the number one seed at a record of 10-5. Yeah, the 10-5 Buffalo Bills are going to win the AFC. There's Teddy Bridgewater. We're about to start this game coming off of a 3,600-yard year, 23 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. Decent for Teddy Bridgewater's first year starting back from being a backup on the Jets and the Saints. Second and 13 for Bridgewater. Going to pass it left to Evan Ingram. Kyle Van Noy can't catch him. Preston Brown going to push him out of bounds. Good 16-yard gain to start the game for the Giants. Now on third and six, Bridgewater dropping back over the middle. Almost picked off. He's going to find his man, Jesse Bates. Going to try to get over there. Bridgewater building a pretty good drive to start the game out for the Giants. And now on first and 10, Bridgewater going to hand off to Wayne Gallman, the backup running back for the Giants on that draw. All the way to the six yard line now. First and goal for Bridgewater. Drop him back. He's gonna find Evan Ingram on the outside. Ingram is gonna get in the end zone. Seven to nothing early for the Giants. The Bengals defense has been playing well over the past couple weeks, but just like that, Bridgewater and the Giants gonna drive down the field and score seven. And making the start for the Cincinnati Bengals is gonna be Tua Tunga Vailoa. He is expected to make the start in the playoffs. That style line of his is not great, but he's going to start over Joe Flacco. Flacco will see action in the second half just to preserve Tua for next week. First and 10, Tua's going to hand it off to Alex Collins. Collins on the outside, going to juke a man out. Alex Collins, another man misses. Alex Collins with open field ahead. Collins going to take it 76 yards on the first play from scrimmage for the Bengals. This run attack by Cincinnati has been dominant over the last couple weeks, and it's going to continue early on today. Hopefully that translates into playoff action as we do get Joe Mixon back next week. Here on 3rd and 12, Evan Ingram going to get the ball again, but only going to get 9 out of 12. Ball is going back to Cincinnati here. And here on 3rd and 7, Tua is going to be forced to throw the ball here, something that we don't want to do often, but if we have to, we do. Going all the way up to A.J. Green, and it's going to be picked off. On the tip, that's Jabril Peppers with the interception, his third on the year. Going to pick off Tua for Tua's 30th interception of the year. Again, James Winston type numbers. Bridgewater now going to get the ball right back to Cincinnati. Jesse Bates on the interception. He did have a dev trait upgrade today with X-Factor. All he needed to do is get an interception, so now he will have X-Factor. TJ Logan on the outside going to take it. 54 yards all the way to the house. The other mainstay running back now of the Bengals, TJ Logan, alongside Alex Collins, going to get his first touchdown of the day, 14-7 Cincinnati. Now Bridgewater on third and seven to the outside. Looks like he's got his man for the first down, but they are going to mark him short. Ball going back to Cincinnati. Now Tua on the draw play to TJ Logan. Going to take it all the way to the 40. Second and two coming up. Got one yard now on third and one. Going back to TJ Logan. Logan trying to juke a man out. Cannot get to the first down. Ball going to have to go back to New York. First and 10 for Bridgewater. Play action fake to Saquon Barkley. Going to roll left. Looking deep. He's going to get put down. That's Carl Lawson with the sack. Going to send us to the end of the first quarter with a score. 
of 14 to 7 Cincinnati. Good start for us. The running game, of course, is working well. I don't think we've completed a pass yet, but the run game is too dominant. Hopefully we can get another stop here. Third nine for Teddy Bridgewater. Rolling left, looking, gonna dump it off to his man. Darius Slayton, I believe, only gonna pick up two yards. Ball going back to Cincinnati. Play action fake for Tunga Vailoa. Up the middle, he's got Antonio Brown. A.B. gonna take all the way to the 38 now. First and 10 for Tua. Gonna jet sweep over to Tyler Boyd. Boyd's gonna take it on the end of the round. All the way to the 22 yard line now. Zach Taylor just trying to run the ball any way possible, even if it means using Tyler Boyd with the jet sweep. Now Tunga Vailoa to Antonio Brown. AB's gonna juke out a man. Antonio Brown gonna take us within the 10 yard line down to the nine. Now on the three, Tua dropping him back. Looking, got his man, John Ross. Back from injury of last year, he got hurt towards ACL. John Ross is back in action. The fourth receiver now for the Bengals. Gonna score, make it a 21 to seven game. Look at those stats by Saquon Barkley. Five rushes for negative one yards. The Pinkles D-line is shutting him down. Third and six for Bridgewater. Looking for a man. Gonna lob it up. Josh Norman. Josh Norman, the former Washington Redskin. Gonna make that play. His 20th career interception. Norman has been playing a lot of strong safety recently because of injuries. But now TJ Logan to the outside. Gonna juke a man out. TJ Logan gonna make it a 28 to seven ball game. 37 yards, TJ Logan with his second touchdown of the game. Now Bridgewater with the ball back. Gonna hand off to Saquon Barkley. Barkley gonna juke a man out, and gonna juke out. Jesse Bates, Saquon is gone. Just like that, the Giants put seven back up on the board. We were talking earlier about how Saquon has been stopped totally early in the beginning of this game with only negative one yards. Now, gonna put up 75. First and 10 out for Tua, gonna hand the ball off to TJ Logan on the outside. Logan, good block by Antonio Brown. TJ Logan can take him all the way to 19. He already has 150 yards, and we're not even done with the first half already. TJ Logan is an absolute unit there. Second and six, Tua's got pro reads now, the best X factor in the game. Gonna give it to Tyler Eifert. I was joking, pro reads is absolutely terrible. Third and goal for Tua. Gonna find his pro read to Antonio Brown. Brown can't get in the end zone. Here on fourth and goal, Tua gonna hand the ball off. Alex Collins. Collins is gonna get in the end zone. All of a sudden, in week 17, this Bengals offense is looking really good. 35 points against, the, I know it's the Giants, but against the Giants, 35 points in the first half for Cincinnati. Now, Teddy Bridgewater on the ensuing Giants drive. Looking, gonna find his man up the middle. That's Sterling Shepard. Shepard taking it all the way to about the 44-yard line. Bridgewater now in first and 10, looking. Looking for a man up the middle, going back to Shepard. All the way to the 28 now. And as you can see on the bottom of your screen, the undefeated Dallas Cowboys have now lost by the Seattle Seahawks. They are no longer undefeated. They are 15-1. And now, Darius Slayton, I believe, going to take it all the way to the house. 28-yard touchdown for the Giants. Slayton's first career touchdown is a big one to get the Giants within 14 points. As we go to half now, 35-21 to 21 Cincinnati. Tua with only 57 passing yards, whatever. But look how many rushing yards. 291 by the Bengals. And there's TJ Logan's stat line. 195 yards, two touchdowns on 14 rushes. Not going to see much of TJ Logan throughout the rest of this game because now the backups will come in. Joe Flacco up the middle to John Ross. Good time for John Ross to get more involved in the offense because, of course, A.J. Green, Antonio Brown, Tyler Boyd days are all done. Second and one for Flacco. He's going to get put down. Joe Flacco with not much time to throw the football there. Going to make it third and 21, and we're just going to put the ball back to the Giants here on third and two. Bridgewater going to hand it off, and that's stuffed. The Cincinnati backup is going to stop Saquon Barkley at the line. Now Rodney Anderson going to come in the game, and Anderson's going to get a good amount of yards there all the way to the 36-yard line now. And second and eight for Flacco. Drop him back, looking. He's going for it all. He's going for the rookie, Shannon Barker, out of Appalachian State. And it's picked off by Jabril Peppers. We haven't seen much of Barker this year because of an early injury in the season. And, of course, because we 
got Antonio Brown, we have AJ Green and Tyler Boyd, but Barker will hopefully get more in the offense as years go by. Risky pass by Bridge Ryan is picked off by Clayton Fedulum, the special teams captain with the big play. Usually doesn't see much action at strong safety because of the special teams play, but makes a big play here against the Giants. Now Flacco gonna find John Ross, the speed demon, John Ross to the outside, taking it all the way to the two yard line. And now on third and goal, Flacco dropping back, looking over the middle, Shannon Barker, and ooh, Alex Erickson had a shot at it, but two drops there. We're gonna be forced to take this field goal, Young Wei Ku with the kick to put us up 17. And now Bridgewater coming back on the field, 186 yards, two touchdowns, three interceptions. The Bengals secondary has been putting a lot of pressure on him along with the front line. Third and nine for Bridgewater, looking, looking. He's got all day going deep. Josh Norman's there, bunch of guys are there, batted down. And that will be it for the third quarter. One more quarter left of Bengals football in the regular season before we go to the playoffs. Let's finish strong here and look to the next round. Fourth and nine for Bridgewater. The Giants are forced to go for it at this point. Bridgewater looking. Fedulum again. Clayton Fedulum with another pick. These are the only two quarters Fedulum has played the entire season. And he's going to make the big pick. His second of the year and the game. And now Shannon Barker is going to get his first catch and the face mask. Barker's first catch of his career comes in week 17. And he's going to move the chains even more thanks to the face mask by Jabril Peppers. And now, third and goal to Flacco. He's going to hand the ball off to TJ Logan back in the game. Stuffed at the one. I don't know why Logan was back in the game there, but whatever. Fourth and goal. We're going to bring the offense back out there. Flacco going to hand the ball off to Rodney Anderson. Anderson's going to get absolutely stuffed. All right, the Giants defense makes a stop. And now Bridgewater and his team is going to come back out there. Second 11. Bridgewater can hand the ball off to Saquon. Saquon's got open field. Can we catch up to him? Forrest Bannister going to make that play. Oh, and a bunch of the others. By the way, Forrest Bannister was our second round pick, I believe, this year in the draft. He does have superstar development. He's the third string corner on this team. Now Bridgewater hand the ball off to Saquon Barkley on the third and 14. Going to take it all the way to the 10 here. And now on fourth and three, Bridgewater dropping back over the middle. Saquon. Saquon's going to move the chains. Giants trying to score. First and goal here. Bridgewater going to hit. I believe that is Sterling Shepard with the touchdown grab. 28-38 now for the Giants. And now we get the ball back. One second left. Rodney Anderson get in the end zone for the XP. Rodney Anderson is going to end this regular season with the touchdown. 45-28 to victory for the New York Giants. Good season, 9-7, not really where we wanted to be at the beginning of this year. I think we had a better record last year. We were 10-6 or 11-5, but we did win the AFC North this year. So next week, we will play host to the New York Jets. Sam Darnold, Le'Veon Bell will be heading on over to Cincinnati to take us on. There you see the final stats. 45-28, 381 rushing yards, four-year Bengals, and four takeaways. Just a pretty solid day for us. Even the backups came in and played pretty well, so there is hope for the future out here. Tua and Flacco both feeling good about themselves, and there you go. Jesse Bates is now X-Factor, and he has Zone Hawk, so that is huge for Jesse Bates. Here are the final stats on the year. Tua, 3,500 yards. Joe Mixon, good, 1,000, along with Alex Collins, the 500. TJ Logan, the 500. Our three-headed running back system is working really well for us. Antonio Brown, 900 yards, 11 touchdowns. A.J. Green with about 908 touchdowns. All-around good year from the receiving end. Um, we didn't really throw the ball as much as we wanted to at the later half of the year, but it is what it is. Look at those sacks, by the way. Rashawn Anthony with 17 sacks allowed. Tua took a beating. I think 10 of those are probably from the DeMarcus Lawrence game anyway. So, Rashawn Anthony is a rookie, too. So, in the long run, he will just get better, hopefully. Um, and there are the stats for, on the defensive side. Uh, sacks, Geno Atkins at 10.5 and Vaughn Miller with 10. Most of Miller's probably came from the Broncos, as he had a better year there than he did with us. 
with Josh Norman coming to our team halfway through the year and with six interceptions. Huge year for him. Sorry, five. And Jesse Bates with four. Clayton Fedulum obviously with two picks. Um, Cam Newton won MVP. Mar Mark Smilio second. I don't know what bizarre world we're living in. What a season it has been. But it's just getting started. Thank you all for watching. And Mamba forever.